Okay, let us continue. Um, I prepared a few extremely um, interesting examples for you next. So, uh, let's go to the next one. Tower of Hanoi. So, what is Tower of Hanoi? Um, this is a mathematical puzzle where we have three rods and n discs. The objective of the puzzle is to move the entire stack to another rod, obeying the following simple rules. Only one disc can be moved at a time. Each move consists of taking the upper disc uh, from one of the stacks and placing it on top of another stack um, or disc. And uh, only the only the uppermost disc can be moved. So no disc may be placed on top of a smaller disc. So note that transferring uh, top n minus one discs from one source rod to the auxiliary rod can again be thought of as a fresh problem and can be solved in the same manner. So I have prepared a picture here to illustrate to you how this actually looks like. So. Um, this is our starting position. We start at rod A and we want to move the entire stack to rod C. So what do we have? Uh, we have one source, source uh, rod, we have a destination rod and we have the auxiliary rod. So the auxiliary rod is the rod that is um, not part of the transaction at the moment. So for example here uh, we are moving the white one from rod A to rod B and C is the auxiliary rod in that case. So uh, as you can see we can only move the most upper one and we can only lay the smaller ones on the larger ones. And N represents the number of disks and we have always three rods. So um, there are two ways to solve this uh, with iteration and uh, with recursion. So it is possible to solve this with iteration, but it is quite complex or maybe not complex, but extremely long to type out. So it's going to take us a lot of time, but we can solve this with recursion um, in a matter of minutes, in one minute. So um, what is recursion? Recursion simply means that a function calls itself. So you will see what I mean by that. So let us start. First of all, um, let me comment this part out. Okay, so uh, first of all, uh, let us use n as the number of disks. So let's say we have three disks here. And we need to call a function. Let's call that function tower, tower of Hanoi. And what we want to do, we want to pass it certain arguments. Um, we want to pass the number of disks we have and we want to pass the starting rods. So A, B and C, as you can see in this picture here. So now let us define that function. Uh, define tower of Hanoi and we are going to take the N uh, as a parameter. We are going to take the source, so we are starting from A as a source. We want to pass the destination, destination, and we have the auxiliary rod, auxiliary. Okay, great. Um, let me add a colon here. Uh, what we want to do now is so when we are doing recursion uh, we divide our problem into sub problems so first of all we have this large problem we want to move all three parts here so what we do at that moment is we move the first one the red one after that we want to move those two ones so we want to move the white one and the green one but those um, are again multiple problems. So when we want to move those both, we need to divide it into a smaller problem. And that problem is going to consist of only moving the white one and so on and so forth. If we had four, for example, this would be even um, more, um, you could even spot this easier because we would have four rods to move. And let's say we want to move, uh, now we want to move uh, one, 
but we don't have any space so we need to divide it into two and then move the last one so as you can see um, we have a condition if we want to move one rod when we are in the position that we can move one rod we are going to do it but if we are not we need to call um, our function again and that's where the recursion starts so we are going to have if n equals one Uh, you're going to see how n can actually equal 1 because as of now it's only always going to be equal to 3. Uh, we are going to print um, something like move disk 1 from source. Or let me just do it like that. Uh, source to destination. Actually, we didn't need to include those spaces. They're going to be included because we're using those commas. But in the case, if you use the plus sign, we will need to have it. But it's just an old habit of me. Um, and then uh, we need to have a case where we exit our function. So where we um, break this recursion. So that's going to be the case when we only have uh, one more to move. We are going to move it and we are going to break the recursion. So now, otherwise, we are going to call um, our function again, but we are going to call it with, with n minus 1. So this means that um, we are going to divide our problem into a smaller subproblem uh, where we have one less, um, so one less disk to move. And again, we're going to provide it the source and auxiliary and then a destination. Because as you have seen here, uh, when we are in this case, so now B is the auxiliary. But when we are moving the white one, now C is the auxiliary. So they changed places. Now we also need to print this. So we are going to print move disk n, in this case it's going to be n, from source, source, to destination, destination. And whilst I'm at it, I'm going to remove those bases here. And now uh, we need to um, do one final call, which is going to be tower of Hanoi n minus one auxiliary destination and source. So let us run this program now. Python. Okay. Uh, let us actually actually see uh, what our script has done here. I am going to open a picture. So we moved disk 1 from source A to B. So in this case we moved it here. Then we moved disk 2 uh, from source A to source C. So we moved the white one um, to C. Then what we have done, we have moved disk 1 from B to C. Uh, what we have done after that is we have moved disk 3, um, disk 3 from A to B, like in this position now. Then we have moved disk 1 from C to A. Then we have moved um, disk 2. Uh, from C to B and then we have moved disk 1 so the smallest one was here we have moved it to B so as you can see we have moved all our disks from A to B so um, what you need to understand with recursions is the following uh, so I have found a nice picture online that ex 
explains recursion on a simpler example uh, where we just want to reverse a string and as you can see this function is going to have the bar as an input to reverse our string and every time you're going to break the problem into a smaller sub problem like we have a bar we break it into r we break it into r a r and r and then an empty string and then we have a check to see if it's an empty string and that's the point um, where we are going to exit to break our recursion and then we return um, those values so each of those function calls is going to return that value so what we are doing here is we are calling those functions inside so this is going to be our break statement we are checking if we have only one more disk to move then this is going to be the last one and we are just going to return otherwise we are going to call it uh, when with reversing our source destination and auxiliary um, calls and every time we are going to decrease uh, the number of disks to be moved uh, recursion is generally a um, touchy thing and in most cases you're not going to use recursion um, iteration is even more performant and languages are more built around that but some problems like this specific problem is much simpler to resolve with recursion but know that every problem can be resolved so not every problem but every uh, code that is written in an iterative way can be transferred to a recursion and every recursion can be moved to an iterative code okay uh, let us go to the next example